Hey, the new Blue Beam Review 20 is out, and there's some really cool things you're going to want to check out with this release. There's a new Find a Tool Helper. Um, you can now add multiple leader lines to markups. There's a, a filter upgrade in the markups list that you are going to absolutely love. And plus, there's enhanced processes for inviting people to studio projects and studio sessions. So overall, it's very collaborative and very easy to use. So let's check it out. So we are in Bluebeam Review 20 now. And one of the first things that you'll notice is that it doesn't really look a lot different than Review 2019 or even the previous 2018 version. Um, there are some new things here, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, but basically the layout is the same and all of your tools you can park in the toolbar up top or on the right hand side and then you can manage all of uh, the layouts with the profiles uh, command here and custom uh, create these uh, saved options that you want to see. Now as far as finding different tools for markups or measurement um, you can just jump under the command bar here under tools and you can see all your options but as you can tell there's a lot of different things and sometimes you're kind of cruising through these um, and wasting a little bit of time when you're looking for something specific so new feature for bluebeam review 20 is under the help command there's a new thing called find tools and commands so now you can simply search like uh, i'm going to grab a cloud tool here and I'm going to jump in and say I want to cloud these two spaces. All right. So now that we've quickly selected that tool, uh, made the cloud, we can jump in here in the properties toolbar. We can make some quick adjustments just like we could before. Uh, change the colors here. And I'm going to change the opacity. All right. So I've got this custom layout that, that that's the way I want that to look on this sheet. Um, so the next thing we want to do is we want to add a call out because we want to, you know, bring information to the to the cloud that we've made here. So using the same tool, go under help, go under find tools and commands and type in call out or simply call kind of filters it that way. And now I can, you know, click and fill this in. And inspect spaces. Um, so now that we have uh, created this, you know, we want this to reference different areas. Well, first thing, let me just jump in and change the color here to yellow so we can have a have it stand out a little bit more. Um, but what what we've been able to do in the past is to right click in this area and add leader lines to the leg, add various leader lines. But now we have the ability to add leader lines off any point of this call out. So this is pretty cool. So all you have to do is above the call out, right click, and we're going to go to add a leader. And you're going to see where it's going to uh, drop another line. And if you need to do this for other spaces, then we will add a leader. And let's do one more over here. You know, so say that we have to go around and we have to inspect these various spaces. Um, and this all moves together. So as I deselect that, now if I don't like the wording where it is right there, I can move this together and all the leader lines will follow. All right. So now if we want to be able to showcase this to somebody, a project partner that I'm sending this file to uh, with all the metadata and the markups list, they have Bluebeam so they can they can reference all of this. Um, you know, you can certainly see that in the uh, markups list itself here. Now, one quick thing I'm going to do, uh, I just left the default subject for these, but um, I know that there's several callouts here that are uh, entitled group. So I want to make this part of the uh, other group markups. Uh, let me go ahead and change the, uh, there we go. Um, and then so what we can do is we can quickly filter this information uh, to actually just see these markups. Now you had a, the ability to filter um, this column information before in Bluebeam, but what has changed is, is now we can actually save that list. Let me show you how this works. It's pretty cool. So we're going to select this uh, filter command. And with that engaged now, we can filter by, you know, um, any of these uh, header um, subjects. So we're going to do group because that's what we classified this as. And so the first thing I want to point out is, is now with this group filter on, 
anything that's not designated as a group markup is going to be grayed out. This is, you know, somebody else needs to deal with this. These are the things that, that we need to deal with for our particular case. Um, so the other thing is, you know, I, I've sent, I've made the markup, so I'm sending this to somebody else and they want to be able to uh, look at the markups that I just made. So if, if they click under uh, this column, then they can select uh, my name and there you go. So then it identifies just the two markups that, that I made. And one of the cool things that we can do now is we can actually save this filter list to recall later. Um, so I, I was kind of playing around with this before. So Kevin's markups already exist. Um, but if you want to do that again, you know, Kevin markups. And so now we got two of these. And so if I want to get rid of the first one, then I just hit the trash can and that goes away. And so now we have uh, Kevin markups here. Um, so now if we go in and want to turn the list off, um, then everything shows back up on the sheet. You turn the list back on. Of course, it's filtered to my name. Uh, but then we can clear that um, and you don't lose the filter. It just clears everything on the sheet. Um, so now you're going to be able to, you know, quickly pull out um, exact information that you want to see on the sheet quickly and easily through this filter list. So the other new features with Bluebeam Review 20 have to do with Bluebeam Studio. Now that's the cloud-based collaboration tool that's built into every license of Bluebeam Review. And the new enhancements in Review 20 allow you to easily invite team members from anywhere in the world to collaborate with you in real time. So to access Studio, what you have to do is you have to launch it. So um, it's this house looking icon over to the uh, left hand side here. And I'm already connected because we can see the link. Um, if you're if you're not, then you just have to, to log in. And if you need to create an account, you'll see how to do that. The, the window comes up. So right now I have all these projects. So these are all the files that I've uploaded into the cloud. So, you know, there's two parts to Studio. We have the kind of the file management side of it, which is projects. And then you have this other icon here, which is sessions. This is the, the live component. So if I wanted to take a file and send it up in the cloud and invite people on it to collaborate in real time, uh, that's where that would happen under this, uh, under this icon here. Uh, but for the, for the uh, projects that I have uh, loaded, uh, we'll just start here because the, the functionality is the same either way. Um, so we're gonna just select this project called Tavco Demo and click on the file and it's actually gonna log in. So I'm actually going to the cloud, looking at the, the files that are there now. Um, and so the first thing I wanna do is if I wanna invite people in uh, to be able to access these files, to be able to view them, to be able to check them out like in a library system, I need to, I need to invite them. Um, and it's as simple as clicking this icon here that says invite. Now, if you used a previous version of review, you know that this screen looked a lot different. So now we can simply type or paste emails here, create groups, uh, use the address book. Now, if I click on groups, you're going to see that I, I haven't created a group here. Um, so nothing is showing up, but uh, to be able to do that and to be able to further enhance the, you know, the control and the security over, over your project, you have this settings icon here. So if you click on that, it's going to bring up this window and it's got all these different tabs, user access, permissions, folder permissions. Um, so this is actually where you would uh, create your groups, users groups. So if you want to create a group, this is where you'd start building your list. And then once you have your group built out, then you can just add that group. And then, um, you know, all of those project partners or subcontractors will be um, invited on the project as well. Um, and then the other element that Review 20 brings uh, to the table here is you now have uh, two different tabs under your projects or under your sessions. Uh, you'll see joined and not joined. And basically what this is, is, uh, you know, say somebody else invited me um, on a project and I didn't get the email. For whatever reason, I didn't see the email with the link to be able to join the project. But if they added me, then this would actually show up under this not joined. 
So it's just a it's a fail safe and it's just a way to give you full visibility into all of the projects that you need to be a part of. So, you know, under here, under joined, you know, imagine this list went all the way down the page. You got a lot of stuff going on in and out of projects, in and out of sessions a lot. Um, and if you do get invited to another one that will live here under this not joined, and then you can simply click on uh, on that project or that session and get right into it. So I hope you found this video helpful, and I'm sure that these new updates in Review 20 will help you kick your workflow up a notch. If you have Bluebeam right now with active maintenance, you are ready to upgrade. But if you have questions or if you need to purchase licenses, feel free to reach out to one of our Tavco team members because we'd love to help you out.